In this video, we're going to have a look at the differences between a function block and a function. For those that are new to PLC programming, both function blocks and functions exist in most PLCs. Um, in Siemens, they're a staple. Function blocks are used all the time and functions are used rarely, but that's commonly because people don't understand when to use them. So the fundamental difference between a function block and a function is the fact that a function block has instance data. And instance data uh, means that we can store information about the function block's contents, but only relative to that one particular instance of that function block. So I can have more than one function block of the same type, but with a completely different subset of information. With functions, the memory is pre-allocated, as soon as you create a function and put it into your PLC, the, fu the function has its own global memory dedicated, or temporary memory rather, dedicated uh, in the processor. And if you call another instance of that function, the same memory area is used again. And uh, the, the difference between a function block and function from a memory point of view is the next time the sc uh, scan cycle comes round, the information in the instance data for a function block is stored in a, in a DB and is still available on the next scan. But for a function, as soon as you leave the function, the memory is no longer available. So you can't call a function and then call a, the same function again and access information from the previous call. That's not possible. There's another few things to consider as well um, between function blocks and functions. Uh, and one of them is being able to use other uh, functions or instructions that require their own data uh, inside of a function block or function. So inside a function block, I'm able to use a timer, for example. And we can see if I bring this down here that we have a static uh, scope. So this timer has its own data inside this function block as uh, declared as a static and if i open this you can see that this has its own information for the timer but if i go into a, the function and i pull this down we can see that we don't have static um, it's just temp so we're not able to call a timer in this function block and it retain uh, how long the time has been timing for between scans so if I go and try and add a timer in now, we get the message pop up saying, where do you want to keep this uh, information? And the only option that we have is single instance. And that would mean that our function is calling data outside of the function itself. So if I was to go ahead and click OK, we can see that in our system blocks folder that's now appeared, program resources, the IEC timer 0 DB has been created for us, and every single function that requires uh, that, that is um, called as a part of our program, every single instance of this function would use this one timer, which obviously wouldn't work. Um, you'd have, if you had three different instances of this function, you'd have all three instances trying to use this one timer, uh, which wouldn't work. So you can get around that uh, if we go ahead and remove this, uh, this timer and add it again. Uh, I could have used the cha change instance block, um, the option for change instance. But if I go ahead and add another one, you can use parameter instance. And if I do that, as part of the in out, we can now pass a instance of this into the function. So that would mean that we were able to create a, um, a timer instance for each function. But once you get into that, the realm of that, um, especially for something as trivial as a timer, you're better off using a function block. Another difference between function blocks and functions is that a function must have all of its inputs and outputs. In fact, any interface elements must be assigned. Um, because there's no uh, memory associated or static memory associated with a function, you must provide the function with everything that's required um, because there's nothing for the function to look at if you don't. 
Whereas function blocks, because they have their own instance data here, if you don't assign something to an input pin, uh, it can use its own instance data. So if I go inside this function block DB and have a look, we can see that we have an input here. The data type is set to bool and the start value is already set to false. So if we don't provide anything, then the start value, this for this input, would dictate that it's going to be false. And that is a difference between the, uh, the two because this function block right now will compile, but this one won't. And finally, the last main difference between the two uh, function blocks and functions is what happens when you make edits to the block that directly affects the memory allocation. So in a function block, if I was to go and add a new output, so call this output2, and I'll place that on the end here, output2. If I was then to download this uh, to the PLC, we'll see that it complains about uh, reinitialization, saying that due to the changes in a DB, all the data values, including retentive data, will be initialized with their defined start values. And if we have a look at the block that's affected, it's this function block db1, the values in the work memory will be reinitialized. So I then have to choose reinitialize, click load, and the download goes through and everything's okay. But if I make the same change to the function, and I go ahead and make a output to, and I make exactly the same change and stick that on the end there. Output to, whoops. Go back to my main. We can see that this block has changed and I do the same thing and just click download. It's gonna complain at me saying that there's a compile error and that compile error is because I haven't put the operand on there. So I'll go ahead and put a M200.2 and rename that as my F output two. And this time download. So that's the only difference so far is that I've had to actually assign that, but this doesn't cause a reinitialization and that's because functions don't have their own memory. So uh, we're using temporary memory and the PLC is capable of assigning that temporary memory as soon as the download occurs. So with a function block, it's not possible to retain the information inside a instance uh, unless you're using optimized data with the, um, the protection for, for memory download, which I'll show you in a sec. Um, but with functions, it's not a problem. You can make changes to the interface for a function and it won't cause this reinitialization issue. So that goes through fine and we go back to being online. And if I just show you this function block, what I was talking about, about the memory protection, and I right click on here, properties, and I go to, whoops, this one here, download without reinitialization. Let's just make that a little bit bigger. Download without reinitialization. You can reserve memory, um, which means that the next time you make a, uh, a change to the interface or anything that requires reinitialization under normal conditions, then uh, an extra 100 bytes will be reserved to make those changes so that you don't have to do a reinitialization. But eventually, if you keep making changes, you're gonna run out of memory reserve. And the only way to get that memory back is to allow the reinitialization to occur. So there you have it. That's the fundamental differences between a function block and a function. Um, my sort of key where, when I use a function and when I use a function block is functions for me are things that I know are never going to change. So very, very small, simple processes such as a scaling block, um, things that have little to no options, no configurable options, um, and nothing that I'm likely going to have to modify in the future, whereas I use function blocks for everything else to containerize anything that is standardized, is reusable, um, or has a lot of configuration, or is such a critical core part of a process that 
I need it to be a function block because I might have to add something in the future that requires its own instance data.